Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your second and final You Pick Tuesday matchup of the week. Dorian Yates, 1997, Phil Heath, 2018. In both cases, it was their final Olympia win, unless history changes, of course, Phil could capture the title this year in 2020, but as is, these are their last Olympias. And I have to say, Phil Heath, he really, besides the midsection, he was really classic Phil Heath. There was really not a thing wrong with him. Dorian Yates, several things, his tricep, bicep, both arms really were pretty much deteriorated, things of that nature. And he was definitely not himself as far as the I don't want to say conditioning, because his conditioning, it was his overall silhouette, his shape, his aesthetics, definitely not what they were whatsoever. But you can clearly see, guys, Dorian Yates, as far as conditioning was concerned, and size, of course, he had the size. He was still very massive, probably his most massive, actually, as far as the scale is concerned. Let's go to the muscularity round. We will start with the front double bicep pose. And I don't want to say an easy victory for Phil Heath. In the arm department, it is an easy victory. My soul, Dorian Yates, his arm, his his weenus, his swelled. I never thought I would see a weenus so large. Dorian's massive, massive. Definitely some calcium, I think, built up in those elbows. Missing a bicep. And his food for thought is good arms. Not really the, the best bicep in the world. Physique-wise, Dorian's winning. Midsection, legs, he's standing toe-to-toe with Phil Heath as far as the legs are concerned. Phil's probably a little bit bigger as far as the quads. Dorian may be larger in the, the cab department. But as a whole, I do focus on the arms a lot in this pose, and it's a no-brainer. Phil Heath, for sure. Now, this one here is a equal no-brainer. Dorian Yates, the superior structure as far as the clavicle is concerned and that really is the big difference in this one look at the lats also phil definitely a larger set of arms but that does not help him in this matchup when you do look at the arm of dorian the deteriorated arm definitely an unsightly thing but it's not going to be enough in the front lat spread it is sort of duly noted dorian actually looks pretty fantastic in this shot you look at the lats but anyway so pretty much a tie, but keep in mind, guys, I am definitely remembering that torn up bicep of uh, Dorian Yates' side chest development. Hard to make a proper decision on this due to the angle of the shot. I like to try to use different poses or different pitchers rather for Dorian Yates and Phil Heath as well. You can probably go back and check the last 97 matchup that I did in the last 2018 for Phil and these are probably different pitchers. I like to change it up for you guys. Dorian, he, I mean, aesthetically, no, he's not winning, but he's huge. Maybe not in the arm, but he, he's massive. He's a big chunk of an Englishman, and condition-wise, he is diced. He is peeled for sure. Phil Heath brings an outstanding package. Personally, I would give him an edge. Side tricep. Good little duel between these two. And it's definitely not their best versions whatsoever, but still, both of them would be a handful against anybody in this pose. Dorian Yates almost matching Phil Heath in the the belly, the gut department. You see that? Dorian, he definitely was no, oh, I don't know, Bob Paris or Frank Zane here in 1997. Neither was Phil Heath. Both men, big chunks of lads. Big, huge triceps. Kind of think Phil Heath's tricep might be a little bit better. Close, close, close call, guys. Personally, I don't know. Maybe an edge to Phil, but the size and in the conditioning, I do believe. Dorian would get an edge in the side department. Turn around for the almighty back shots. And Dorian is as wide as a Boeing 747 jet. But Phil Heath? He looks perfect. This is classic Phil Heath. Of course, when you look at the, the best of Dorian Yates' back development, I did make a video. 1997 was pretty much as good 
as any of the other years as well. So this is a this is a matchup. Dorian has a hard crispness about his back and a size. I don't think Phil is in the type of condition, but he has much superior muscle separation and he has pretty darn good condition as well. So he may be getting an edge. He may be getting an edge. It's close. Let's have a look at the rear double by and I'll make an entire decision based on both of the back shots. Dorian, not very good in the way of glute muscle separation, but he looks hard as nails. You know what I'm saying, guys? He's just rock hard conditioned. And that goes for the back development as well. Look at the traps. He's dominating in the trap department. But the the lats themselves are a little bit uneven. And the arm department, Phil Heath, just destroying Dorian Yates. Of course, the angle of the pole or the angle of the shot taken might be throwing off Dorian's arms, but come on, guys. Dorian's arms in 1997, not the best. So, honestly, guys, aesthetically, I might give an edge to Phil Heath, but Dorian was right there with him in the back shots. Let's go to the ab and thigh. And this is a, this is a tough one as well. Believe it or not, because Dorian has a good ab and thigh, and Phil, maybe not the best, but Dorian not looking much better than Phil Heath here. He's still getting a victory, though, I would say. Dorian, a superior V-taper, and maybe winning in the abs. It's that clavicle width, genetically speaking. I don't think Phil could touch Dorian in this, but Dorian's not impressing me that much here in 1997. Let's go to the final pose, guys, and this is a controversial one. I have several outcomes written down here. I, I'm i a little bit crazy. I am crazy. I do, you know, you know what I'm saying, guys. I have many, many, many different outcomes of a lot of the matches that I do. And there's just really no way to, to win in this one. Dorian, he's a bigger dude. He's a more conditioned athlete, in my opinion. He's even winning in the abs in a lot of the shots as well. The midsection. So aesthetically, you could say he's winning. Now for Phil Heath, he's not missing anything. He has full arms. So aesthetically, you could say he is winning. And that goes for the whole matchup, guys. This most muscular is basically reminiscent of the, of the entire matchup. It's a Dorian Yates size and conditioning versus Phil Heath. Perfection and... and just complete. He's complete. He has he has an actual full arm, two arms, and that front double bicep. Here is your winner, guys. Phil Heath could have won either way. I like the conditioning of Dorian. I like the size, but come on, guys. That was a little bit much. That weenus was too large. Dorian has a huge weenus. You look it up if you don't know what it is. Anyway, guys, that was two of You Pick Tuesday matches, and that's it for the week. Get your request in if you have not already. I picked the one that has the most thumbs up, so it doesn't matter if you were first or not. It's not Fan Request Friday, it's You Pick Tuesday. Let's hope for a lot of thumbs up and get a, get a good uh, You Pick Tuesday lineup. This was a good one as well, guys. Have a fantastic week.